Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Welcome to um what I assume is going to be the last well not the last Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attacked. Now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Take care. That was weird. Um so last episode we left off we um did the um um what's it called um the flave of agnon and now we are going to either talk to the sovereign of mania or dementia he is suggested to uh speak the arctis high priest of dementia or der venon um high priest of mania and if you are familiar with their venom, you know. The great torch shines with the pure light of mania. You chose well. In accordance with the ancient tradition, receive now the raiment of Arden Su in honor of your mighty deed in service to mania. Yes. How we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first, our savior, Arden Sul, the greatest duke of the ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession, the path to maniac bliss. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous wave. Ah, but it was. As the Bacchanal reached a crescendo, the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. The green moat had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of Mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Certainly, when the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Sheagorath gives his blessing and the cycle is completed. I spoke to Dervin and High Priest of Mania. The ritual of accession for Mania requires the, cur it requires the current ru ruler to commit suicide, Jesus Christ, by taking three do doses of green mode, which is lethal. Then his drug-tainted blood must be brought to, to the altar of Arden Sul at Thessalem. I should... Now speak to Arctis to learn of Dementia's ruler. Another sheep returns to the flock. I'm disappointed in your choice. You'll find Mania to be a fickle friend. Seldom is the subject ever... Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? As it happened so many years ago, 
My lord Arden Sewell suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sewell was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. Yes, he then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique, known as visceromancy, to read their lifeblood. When Arden Sewell couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sewell in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogorath. I've spoken to Arctis, the High Priest of Dementia. The ritual of, a, uh, of accession for Dementia is simple. Syl would have to be slain by a proposed successor and her heart brought to the altar of Arden Sewell at the Sicellum. After I decide which ritual is to undertake, I should return... You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you have made a decision? I'm still going or are you lost? I'm Suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Thaden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing, it suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides... Won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Thaden loves surprises. Thaden may be in a constant state of euphoria, but I wouldn't underestimate his intelligence. <laughs> this is so much fun! We will speak. When your task is complete. complete. What else can I help you with on this glorious day? If I were you, I'd check with Thaden's steward, Wide Eye. You can usually find her roaming around New Sheoff, or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. Tread the humble path and find the light. Yes? How can I help you this fine day? Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures Mania has to offer. Well, yes, apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games. I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. A 
At the risk of being rude, I must confess I don't like talking about the specifics of my routine. Thaden has too many enemies that may turn that knowledge against him. He depends on me quite dearly. At the risk of being... Thaden has too... Tilsa Aralith has quite a collect... Farewell. Have you caught my act yet? I'm Fatal the Juggler. I'm sh all. See you later. How can I? At the risk of Thaden. Bruh. Go ahead. Excellent. I. Very well. I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are served dinner. Gundlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. There isn't enough gold or enough jokes in the world that would convince me to tell you where the green moat is located. Farewell. Again. Yes, I must attend to him. Speaking to you has already cost me time. I must go. Yes? Wait at noon. Shouldn't be too hard because the clock is running going really fast. Any second now.
few minutes left.
Hello again, my friend. Blessings, citizen. Blessings. I have work to do. Welcome to the House of Mania. What did it say to do? So I need to go over here. So I got plenty of time. Halt, lawbreaker. Fuck me. Until she... She caught me. I'll eventually get it. Halt, lawbreaker. She's going over there.
Oh, this is the duck. I had it, I had it, I had it. Okay, where am I going now? This is the Dukes. You thought you could escape? Oh, God damn it. Halt, lawbreaker. Lord Sheogorath's justice demands. So I'm in the right place. Are they upstairs or downstairs? I don't know, man. Hold on, I, I, I want to figure this out because this is ridiculous. And maybe on my next playthrough, I can actually do it a bit more thoroughly. Because, like, like I said, this is my first time playing Oblivion. Um. What quest is it? Ritual of Mania. All right. Um, I'll meet myself for a second. Give me two seconds.
All right. I know what to do now. Come on.
You thought you could escape? Ah, you again. A pleasure, I'm sure. No time for chatter now. I have a few important things to attend to. Or did I? Ah, well. Those shambles are dangerous. Make sure to stand back if you kill one. Maybe the best thing to do is fight them with a weapon. I've heard that even their corpses can be dangerous. See you. Hi. Greetings, friend. My, yes. I feel especially delighted this evening. Perhaps it's time I recited my latest soliloquy. Ahem. The Lady Fair, our love is told, with hair as fine as soft spun gold. Lips as red as a sun-drenched dawn, skin as soft as a newborn thorn. Eyes as blue as a cerulean sea. Ah, what? My heart can't breathe. Help me.
Silarn is ours at last. Thanks to you. Times happy days. I've heard of such a grand place. Ah, to imagine all that wonderful green moat under one roof. May Arden Sul enrich your mind and guide your heart. Once again has the ritual of accession come full circle. The blood of Thaden has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and all of Mania welcomes you with open arms. I now declare you Duke of Mania of the Shivering Isles. May your light shine upon all our happiest days. May Arden Sul enrich your mind and guide your heart. All right. Well, we will not talk to Sir Gorath um, now. Um, all right, hold on. Um, make a save here, as reasons. Um, yeah. If you did enjoy this episode, guys, make sure to. to what well, you already know. I don't need to repeat it <laughs> more than once. Um, but yeah. Catch y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.